Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Chapter 5.27, Video D. Help notes for Ahmed and Haywood, a new Arabic grammar. How is the sound feminine plural formed? In this chapter, we'll be dealing with Jam al Mu'annath al Salim, the sound feminine plural. Let's take a word, Shahiq, which means very high, tall, lofty, towering. And the first step is that if the last letter is a ta marbuta, we should remove this ta marbuta. The word shahiq does not have a ta marbuta as the last letter, so this doesn't apply. But a word like sayyara, which has a ta marbuta at the end, the first thing we would do is remove the ta marbuta. Second step, remove the remaining final letter's short vowel. So if there was a ta marbuta, we removed it, we look at the last letter of the remaining word. In this word, we don't have a ta marbuta, so the final letter that applies to step 2 is the qaf. We're going to remove the whatever vowel the qaf had. So we're going to end up with shahi, and the qaf doesn't have a sukun or any haraka. The next step is we're going to add a fatha to the last letter, to the last remaining letter. And then we're going to add an alif and a ta to the end. So let's see what that looks like once we've done that. So we've got sha he is as it was here. The qaf now has a fatha. It had two dhammas here. And then we add, we've added an alif and a ta. And remember an alif in the middle of a word is always an alif with a sukun. An alif never has any vowels. Then we have to, in order to vowelize, what vowel are we going to put on the ta? We have to use our acts analysis. If the word is marfu, then we're going to put two dhammas if it is nakira. And if it is ma'rifa, definite, we're going to put a single dhamma, all of this on the ta. So we will get shahiqatun if it's nakira, because there's no alif lam, or ashahiqatu. Because of the alif lam, it makes it ma'rifa, and therefore we only have a single dhamma. On the other hand, if the word is either mansub or majroor, we are going to use, <coughs> we're going to put two kasras or a single kasra. If the word is nakira or indefinite, we're going to put two kasras. If the word is ma'rifa, then we're going to put a single kasra on the final ta. So we're going to get shahiqatin or ashahiqati. Now, let us summarize all of this information using our mega acts table. Before we do that, let's just quickly look at nouns ending in a ta marbuta. Remember, sayyaratun was an example we gave. The first rule is to remove the ta marbuta. If you forget to remove the ta marbuta, you would do this, sayyaratatun. You would consider the ta at the end as the final letter, give it a fatha, but that would be wrong. What you're supposed to do is remove the ta and then consider the remaining final letter as the final letter. So sayyaratun becomes sayyaratun. Remove the ta and then we have an alif and ta. Here we have a summary acts table which deals, which brings a lot of the information we've done in the previous videos. So here we have in the first row munsarif words which are either nakira or ma'rifa and when they're nakira we there have got two dhammas if marfu, two fathas if mansub, two kasras if majroor. And if they are ma'rifa they have only a single dhamma if marfu, single fatha if mansub and thing, single kasra if majroor. So this is the basic type of word. Then we met mamnu min sarf words. In the chapter 4 we met al-muthanna uh, al or at the beginning of chapter 5. And we also met jam mudhakkar al-salim uh, earlier on in this, in this chapter. And remember for the muthanna and jam mudhakkar words we talked about the case not being indicated by the vowel on the last letter which if you look here is all the same in the noons. Noon is noon kasra, noon kasra. 
Or if you look in the Jammu Dhaka Salam, it's Nun Fatha, Nun Fatha, Nun Fatha, Nun Fatha, Nun Fatha, Nun Fatha. But it's the change of the second last letter. So here if you look in the in the in the Muthanna, we have an Alif for, for Marfu words and a Ya for when it is Mansub and a Ya for when it's Majroor. And likewise in the Jammu Dhaka Salim, instead of changing the final vowel, we change the second last letter. From a waw sakin if it's marfu to ya sakin if it is majroor. Now in this video we've covered jam mu'annath as salim. In the jam mu'annath as salim we have a change in the haraka, the vowel of the last letter of a noun to indicate its case. And just like munsaraf words, when it is marfu, they take two dhammas, and when it is marfu and ma'rifa, it takes a dhamma. So this these two are exactly the same as these two. If we skip to the majroor, if we look here, the jam mu'annath as salim is exactly the same as munsarif nouns when they are nakira, they take two kasras, and here when a jam mu'annath salim word is, na is, is nakira and majroor, it takes two kasras on the last letter of the noun. And if it is ma'rifa, it takes a single kasra, just like uh, words which are majroor and mun sarif. The exception here is here that instead of taking uh, a f two fathas when the word is uh, uh, mansub, which is what the mun sarif words do, it takes two kasras, and when it is marifa, it takes a single kasra. So this is the exceptional part of jam munath as salim. So really you've got to just memorize this axe table. Now we have one, two, three, four, five rows. So five different types of nouns and five different ways they actually show their hal or case. And remember case is this, marfu, mansub, majroor. And the thing that determines the case is the action of the noun in the sentence, whether it's a mubtada, khabar, mafurun bihi, Ism Majroor or Mudafide. These are the one, two, three, four, five types of noun types we've met so far. The top three here, Munsarif, Mamnu Minasarf, and Jam Mu'annath as Salim, they all show case by a change in the vowel of the last letter of the noun. The Muthanna words and Jam Mudakkar Salim show the case by a change of the second last letter of the the nouns, not by a change of the vowel of the last letter in the noun. Uh, so that's a summary table that you should really memorize and know off by heart. Jazakallahu khairan wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.